Hi, this is a series of uh, video lectures uh, related to learning robot kinematics using RoboAnalyzer as a part of RoboAnalyzer based online competition ROC uh, contents of uh, video 1 on 10 and uh, this is as I mentioned it is part of RoboAnalyzer based online competition okay so let me get started with uh, today's lecture on introduction to robot kinematics so I'm going to start using my uh, digitizer so please make sure you also write down whatever I write here introduction to robot kinematics okay so this is a series of lectures so let me just give uh, a very brief overview of what are the different uh, topics we have we have a robot and we have kinematics a robot is basically a device that can carry out tasks okay so obviously when we want it to carry out tasks it will definitely have motion okay so what is kinematics kinematics is basically study of motion okay so when we say robot kinematics that means study of motion of robots okay so without brack within bracket what I'll write is study of motion without considering the forces causing the motion or caused due to motion okay so that is what is kinematics now let us look at different types of robots very briefly so they can be clarified as moving base or fixed base under moving base you can have various category like uh, aerial okay then underwater then mobile robots or wheeled robots so on and so forth under fixed base we will have parallel robots and serial robots okay so in this set of uh, lectures will be focusing more on the serial robots okay for other types of robots there are uh, topics that are available and these are usually kind of advanced topics so typically in a undergraduate or postgraduate mechanical engineering based robotics course we always start with serial robots now the serial robots are basically something which have one fixed link and then we have a set of links that are connected in series okay so these are the links we call links and what we have here are known as joints okay now obviously uh, I'll just hurry up here because I don't want to have too long videos so what do we deal with forward kinematics of serial robots F kin stands for forward kinematics of serial 
planar manipulators okay or planar serial manipulators depending on how you uh, write that down okay so in this rest of the video we'll be looking at what is forward kinematics very briefly and what is inverse kinematics <clears throat> okay let us take a scenario of i have a simple robot like this so there is a simple robot which has two links and two joints and let's assume i have a point here okay let us give that some name p and if we have a coordinate system here x y so obviously the point p will have two coordinates along x i'll call it as px and along y i'll call it as py so if we know individual joint values so for example in this particular case we'll understand what it is so let me give some angle here say let's say theta 1 and i'll extend this link and i'll say give this angle as theta 2 if theta 1 and theta 2 are given determine px and py okay so when we do this we call it as forward kinematics that means we are going in the forward direction from the base to the tip so at that tip p is known as end effector point or sometimes it is also known as pose we'll come to that later okay now obviously when we have something known as f kin we should also have i kin that is inverse kinematics okay so what does inverse kinematics mean that means if px and py are given determine theta 1 and theta 2 okay so when we do this we call it as inverse kinematics obviously you may be wondering uh, why is it so important obviously it is important because whenever we want robot to move we would be using inverse kinematics and forward kinematics to perform the motion okay so this is a very brief overview of uh, what is fkin ikit and in the remaining videos let me just very quickly go through so in the video one we have covered inverse kinematics and forward kinematics introduction and in video two we'll have uh, we'll take up a two hour planar manipulator analytical method in the video three we will also introduce you to matlab and octave which is a free version or alternative of matlab and then we'll see how to write matlab program for for kinematics of two hour planar manipulator then we'll look at uh, forward kinematics of planar 3R manipulator which can be solved using analytical method again we'll be looking at uh, the MATLAB program for uh, yeah so this should be 3R so it will be MATLAB program for 3R planar manipulator then we'll look at inverse kinematics of planar 2R it can be solved in analytical as well as geometric method then we look at the MATLAB program then again uh, formulation for inverse kinematics of planar 3R manipulator and the corresponding 
MATLAB program. And finally, we'll also see how to export data from uh, MATLAB or Octave for uh, motion planning purposes. We'll try to draw some circles or straight lines here. And then we can import these trajectory in RoboAnalyzer and then uh, perform animation. Okay. So a very brief about again RoboAnalyzer based online competitions. So this is the organizing committee comprising of myself, Rajiv Lochana. And uh, some of these videos are extension of the other videos that are found on our RoboAnalyzer website. If you go to RoboAnalyzer website, so you will see video lectures link. So these are the earlier videos that have been created in another event. So the videos that I'm going to record right now will also come in the same page. Okay. And uh, very brief about myself. My name is Rajiv and I'm an assistant professor in the Amrita School of Engineering in Bangalore. I've been associated with the development of RoboAnalyzer software since uh, I did my MS research at IIT Delhi. The software has been developed under the able guidance of Professor Subhir Kumar Saha. And uh, please uh, try to go through all the videos in these series and uh, hopefully it will help. Thank you.